Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 257, binary tree paths. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by recursion. Um, anytime you see like a binary tree question, um, there's pro high probability that it can be solved by recursion. And this is uh, not a very different case. We can use recursion as well. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is actually cover the base case, right? So if um, root is equal to null, you just need to return an empty list. So let's actually initialize that. List of type string, and let's call it result equal, which is of type an array list. Awesome. So if root is equal to null, um, you would just return. I wonder if it is empty if we have to um, actually add something. So okay, so let's let's just do this. So result dot add uh, just an empty string, and then in the end you just return result. Awesome. So if that's not the case, um, you need to call a method that's recursive. Uh, so let's call it get next node next node for path. So there are a couple of things that you need to start off with. You actually need the root value. Uh, then you need the result itself. Uh, you don't really need the result if you actually move this outside the, the method. Uh, but since we actually have it inside the method and it's passed by reference, that's fine. And the other thing uh, you need is the string itself that you're manipulating. So that is a recursive method that we'll write in a second. And in the end, you just need to return result as well. Awesome. So let's write the recursive method, uh, private void, since we are, are not returning anything. And then let's just copy this. And all right, so you have the type tree node and the name for that is root. Um, you have the resulting list. Let's call it res, and then you have the string itself. Str. Okay, awesome. So the first thing that you need to do uh, is you need to know how to call the recursive method, right? And when do you know to call the recursive method? We need to we need to call the recursive method if um, the given root has a left node, like a left child or a right child. If it doesn't have a left child or a right child, you know that we've reached the end of the path. So you can just um, add the string that you've seen so far to the uh, the resulting list. So let's do that. So if uh, root dot left is equal to null and root dot right is equal to null, what you do is you just add res dot add str. Yeah, and you leave it as is, and then you check for others, right? So if root dot left is not equal to null, what you need to do is you need to call this again, right? But you need to call this on the the left node, and you the the resulting list just stays the same. But the string, you need to um, add the value that you're seeing right now add the other root and then you need to add this um, like arrow that is given to us right here so basically what you're saying is that if we know that the next path uh, like the next path which is like going downstairs does have um Uh, it does have a value. We need to add the current value that we're looking at and the um, arrow, and then the same goes for the right as well. So let's just do that. Awesome. So I think that is actually all we need. So this keeps repeating um, till there are any nodes left. And once all the nodes are done, it will exit um, the recursive method no, uh, since none of them are actually calling it. And then you just return res like the resulting list. Okay, awesome. Let's try compiling this and see if it's okay. All right, of course. All right, let's try that again. Where did 
them us up. Here, here. Do we need one more? Yeah, I think we need one more. Let's try that again. Hmm. So, here, I think, oh, okay. So basically, the, the string that you need to add here is string plus root dot value because we're not really adding that anywhere. So wait, okay, I think this should be right. That's the only thing I missed. I think everything else should be good. Hmm. We see one here. This past. So if root is equal to null and root is you add result dot add string plus root dot value is not equal to null root dot left string plus root dot value plus hmm. oh I see I guess that's the problem. Then close this because this was causing a problem. Okay, now this should actually be good. All right, let's try again. Third time's a charm. Okay, <laughs> all right, uh, silly errors. All right, so let's try at least getting submitting this. All right, so that solution does pass all the test cases. So let's talk about the space and the time complexity of the entire solution. The time complexity of the entire solution is of n, uh, since you have to go through all of the, the nodes. Uh, individually to um, get to get all the paths and then the space complexity is also of n um, since you do need an entirely new data structure to store store all of the paths awesome if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video i would really appreciate that um, thanks so much and i'll see you folks in the next video peace